what's going on everybody I'm back with another video and as you may see it's with a different format than usual I'm now using efficiency match and this is for all my tactical board videos and I'm really excited about this I partnered with the company so all my videos will now be made using this so before we start check out my book there's a link in the description below so be sure to check that out on amazon as well as my blog on medium there's also a link to that in the description below and this video is just going to be a quick introductory video to a few different base structures and how to build from the back as well as an introduction to efficiency map so let's get right into it so from here we have our first basic build-up structure using a back three with our goalkeeper splitting our two central defenders and playing very symmetrical here and this is a pretty standard for building against a front three so just matching the 4-3-3 from the other team with the 4-3-3 in possession of the ball. So when the ball is played to a central defender, we'll oftentimes have a winger come inside to press. And when this happens, he can either go back to the goalie to find the mid-range pass, or what we can do is have our 8 start a little higher, hopefully pulling back the 10. So now when the ball goes here, the press comes in and now the eight can time his movement to then access the wide player in the third man movement. So there was just one situation. The next build up situation we can implement is a back three again with our symmetric central defenders being split by the goalkeeper and now we have a double pivot so now what the double pivot does it decreases the passing angles from the central defenders into the holding midfielders this also gives the opportunity to create a midfield box in possession of the ball and it vacates the wide area so gives the fullbacks more freedom so when playing against a narrow front three this often op opens up the mid-range pass directly to the fullbacks. So from here, we have more options to attract pressure and then exploit the space via a mid-range pass, but we also have the opportunity to still start and use our third man movement, timing the run to arrive in the front of the defender and use the third man movement to exploit the blind side of the pressing winger. But from here, I find it typically very successful to use the double pivot. Then the team probably will adjust, play more narrow in some way, shape, or form, which will then open up these wider areas for a mid-range pass, which could be ben very beneficial if they have the players to do so. And then what we haven't talked about yet is with this new midfield box formation, we now have two players pinning the back four of the opposing team so this gives more space to access and exploit numerical superiority especially if we get the number nine to jump then if we find our holding midfielders we can then access this numerical superiority quite easily if we overstretch their defense and overextend their press. So now the last form of buildup that we'll talk about here is having our goalkeeper and our central defender play on the same line and play with asymmetry with our two central defenders occupying different roles in buildup now on different sides of the field. One playing more as a deeper fullback and one playing as a more central defender as he normally would but a little bit more narrow alongside the goalkeeper so from here we have our inverted fullback making a double pivot with our number six and we also have implemented a false nine between our two attacking midfielders and two wide wingers stretching the height so from here the passes in the first line are much more vertical than we've seen before so what this would do is probably attract pressure from players like the attacking midfielders and draw them forward because of the negative field of view these players will be re receiving the ball at they would be very susceptible to opponents jumping to then press them and force their actions backwards so what then can happen is why we've implemented the false nine create a numerical superiority in the center or try and get a defender to jump and so now we've created a bit of a gap so we can have then a long ball either 
access them directly if we have a good range of pass from our goalkeeper and get players inverted runs from the wide areas or when the player inverts to make his run we then have the defender go with him and then we have our eight go into a wider area and he can be exploited and be the free man so a lot of different options and ideally if the defenders don't jump and we have our winger wide we can then just play into our holding midfielder or our inverted fullback and from here we might get some jumping but we could then see a blindside movement slightly from our nine and then create numerical superiority and access this via diagonal passing through the central corridor and the half space so although this may be a little more risky because of the central priority in which we play this area because of the inverted fullback creating the double pivot and the vertical passing options makes it easily pressable it can also be a great way to exploit a vertical passing with slight diagonals to then exploit and progress up the field rather quickly so that's going to conclude today's video please like and subscribe to the channel um, let me know what you think of efficiency match i'm really enjoying it i think it adds a whole nother dimension to the videos um, let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video.